So, still on the bottom layer, trying to get the four edge pieces of the bottom layer in the correct place, correct orientation. So in this, plate, in this case, one of them's in the correct place, but the others are not. So the first step we gotta do is to get these guys in their correct place. And there's just one move that we do to do that, but sometimes you have to repeat it a few times. If we were got at this level and this piece was not in its correct place, then it really wouldn't matter where you hold it as long as this is the bottom and this is the top. You could hold any single one of these as the face. But when you do have one in the correct place, this side becomes the face. Okay? So bottom, top, front of the cube, then this is the pattern that you do. So this is in the right place, this is the right place, this cube's in the right place, and so is this one, they're just oriented wrong. The move that we just did, uh, you do that as many times as necessary, usually no more than twice, uh, but you do if you're holding it in the right place. So you do that once or twice, and you'll end up with one of three patterns on the bottom, or, or your cube will be solved. Sometimes um, they end up to break correct orientation, the cube is solved, but usually uh, you'll end up with one of these three patterns, okay? And this is the first one, where two of them are in the right place but need to be swapped. And when this happens, uh, you hold the cube, the bottom, when you're looking at the cube from the bottom, you hold it like this, and this becomes a face. Okay, so you see that? You rotate it this way. White's still the top, yellow's the bottom, this is the face. All right, now for each of these, they each have their own algorithm, and these are the ones you'll have to uh, memorize. Now this one ends up looking like you've messed up and you're back to where you started. But note, this is where you do the move that we had done just previously when we uh, first want to uh, get our edge pieces in the right place. We go back to that same move. There's always gonna be one in this correct place after having done what we just did. There's always be one in the correct place. Make, put that one, that one tells us which way is our front. Okay, so this is the front of the cube. Now we're going to do the same pattern that we had learned at the first step of solving the bottom edge pieces. And now the bottom is solved. This is the second pattern that you can run into. Sometimes, uh, the bottom edge pieces after doing that first move to get them uh, in their correct place they end up like this so they're all in the correct place just oriented incorrectly so the pattern uh, at this point it doesn't matter which side you pick to be the face as long as this is on the bottom and this is on top you can hold it from any face you want and you do this pattern and the cube is solved. The third pattern you run into is this one. Where these two are in the right place, this these two are in the right place, but these two are incorrectly oriented. So the way to solve these ones, this pattern here, is to hold it with either one of these being the face. As long as the yellow's on the bottom, this is the top, this could be the face, or this could be the face. Either one, doesn't matter. And this is holding it like this. This is the pattern you do.
execute the salt. 